Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the channel. This is Papa Bell. Um, we're taking a look at pulse motor. All right, sometimes it gets stuck in that one spot because it starts jittering like it was. But now we are on a steady increase. <clears throat> I have the multimeter here hooked up to this coil. And that coil is hooked up to a circuit which goes around like this. So it's hooked up with diodes and bridge rectifiers to change the AC that it generates into the DC that it sends into the next coil. So it aids with the speed and with the coast after the power's off. So right now, and it's it's generating less because it's it's farther away and. That way the core is less involved magnetically, if you get what I'm saying. The closer it is, the more jerky it's going to be. And I don't think we really need a lot of, a lot of thrust. Uh, we can always adjust how close they are by moving them you know, in or farther back. <clears throat> We're going to get up to about 40. 40 volts, AC volts. Here, I'm gonna switch it to DC. We got nothing on the DC, which is right for where it is in the scheme of things over here. Thirty-six. We keep going. Thirty-seven. And that, that's getting, that's flipping pretty good. <clears throat> I think I've seen it moving faster though. 38. See now, 39. I want to move the read switch a little bit, but I think I'm going to screw everything up. Forty. Forty-one. Okay, we're going to cut it back. Power is officially cut. Now what, what might be going on is that some of these coils in the in the powerless circuit might not be hooked up right. So we're gonna it's gonna be really hard to tell too because it'll mm, But I think if they're all going the right direction, it won't be like making that much noise. <clears throat> but having that, uh, having it be a little bit more of the magnetic field doing the, doing the work. Having there be a little bit more space between the coil and the core and the magnets on the rotor, I think is an okay thing. 
as you can see it, we got a lot less voltage than we're used to getting but I, I believe that's okay excuse me so Three. Oh, that, that might be right. It might be just right. Which is okay. I mean, might want to move them in a little bit just so we can get a little bit more out of it. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, that it works pretty good. So we got about three minutes of acceleration. Wonder what's going on here. So it needs a little thrust, actually, to get going here. I think it's going to get up to about six and then it's going to stop. See, and this is what I mean, it gets stuck on six. <clears throat> There we go. Once it gets over the hump, <clears throat> it's pretty smooth sailing from there on out. And that definitely is moving like it's being aided by the second circuit. Heck yeah.
37, 38. Hell yeah, I think we're going to cut it. 40 volts, 40 AC volts coming out of that coil. And then phenomenal coasting abilities. <clears throat> As the energy in the second circuit and the uh, inertia and centrifugal force trickle down voltage decreases speed decreases <clears throat> truly awesome I think it's it's only going to spin for like two minutes. I think that's totally cool. Um... We might move the second circuit in closer. Right now it's like out of ways. It's hard for me to tell. It's not really hard to tell, but uh, so we're gonna do just a nudge that way. Since all the energy in the circuit is going the other way, we just do a little nudge that way. We should get a lot more out of it than a nudge the other way. I mean, if, if, it, if it makes sense and it works, if it doesn't make sense, it's not going to work right. Yeah, man, I kind of want to, or, or we could put two of the little round magnets on the other end of the big magnet. So two of these on the end of each one of those big magnets right there give a little bit of focus. But then everything else is too close. So, you know, maybe just one. Looks like one could fit. Maybe two could fit, I don't know. Doesn't look like two can fit, maybe one. Yeah, one could definitely fit, but it's gonna be, we want two, because two would close the gap right there. But, uh, yeah. Changing that will require a lot more work than it looks. <clears throat> All right, so thank you very much. I was just trying to demonstrate uh,
you got the power and then you got its capacity and its max speed and then you throw this other circuit on top of that and it should push it into another you know bracket of speed that you couldn't reach with just the power supply is what the whole idea is whether or not that that really works I don't know I can't I can't really tell I don't have the tools to tell I think I see it working but you know it's all moving so fast that and I think that the little magnets these ones with the three stack is actually faster than this one with all the weight on it and I think that the nine magnets for the big one here nine magnets on the rotor instead of 12 was also better with the big magnets of course with the little magnets the 12 is good this is a not bad it's not bad but I you know I've seen it move better and I think we could eliminate a lot of that noise if we take the disc from underneath out But I want to try a couple things before I do that. It's like I'm going to add another row of magnets onto it. Okay, I'm going to add another row of magnets. It's going to lift it up higher. But it might be faster. You know, it might produce more speed. Alright, thank you. Peace out. Have a great night.